10 minutes after 8, and we have some great information coming for you right now because Jennifer Burnham is here from Pure and Simple Estate Sales, and we're talking about downsizing. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for coming in. This is a tough conversation for a lot of families to have, isn't it? It is. And the term downsizing is... It, not, it doesn't really bring a lot of warm and fuzzies for mm -hmm. families. You know, there can be some sadness. People are not really sure if they want to go through this process. Family might be pressuring them into it. And there's a lot of anxiety. You know, how do I downsize and what does it look like? Um, so have got a couple tips today for people who are thinking about downsizing. Um, I think the first tip would be to locate a new home space. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's a smaller home. It could be a condo or a town home. It could be independent living. I've got a picture here of an independent living um, clubhouse. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, going straight to assisted living. It's just getting rid of a little bit of that extra square footage. You know, 2,000 square feet can be a lot of home for someone to take care of. Well, and it can be overwhelming, too, to think about how to get 2,000 yes. square feet into 1,100 square feet or 900 square feet, Absolutely. depending on what you're going into. Well, and there's where all the anxiety comes yeah. from. Well, if you find a smaller home, mm -hmm. then you want to put your home on the market. Mm -hmm. So I recommend finding a realtor that someone, you know, connects with personally and professionally and then once you know hopefully your home sells then you want to call your family over maybe have you know make dinner and have everyone come over and talk about some of the things that you have or that they might want you know photos like I've got some old photos here you know the stories behind these can be great you might have grandma's china and they say you know what I really like to take that mom mm -hmm. if you're not going to take it with you can I take it home and so some of the stuff can go home with the, the family and it's out of your hair but it's in good safe hands yes we have about a minute left I want to make okay. sure we get yep. to the last couple so of then steps if you have your space plan with you, this would be helpful to pick what you're going to take. And mm -hmm. you can always start with a bigger pile and then take things out. You know what? I don't think I'm going to have room for all this. And then I think it's important to hire an estate liquidator to take care of the rest. So they can handle the question of what am I going to do with the rest of this stuff? Right. And so estate liquidators come in and they take care of everything. They sell, you know, certain things, vintage items. They can sell cleaning supplies or cars. And it just really makes this tra the transition very stress-free. And that has to be a person that you trust, right? Absolutely. Because there is a lot of emotion in getting rid of your items and wanting to get as much for them as, the, as you can. Absolutely. It's a nice, it, if you find someone who's got a very organized process, like Pure and Simple, then we can come in and in two weeks we can have the home cleared out and our uh, goal is to raise you know as much money as possible and sell 100 percent for the family well it is a big topic for people if they're if people do want more information where can they go uh, pure and simple carolinas.com that's our website and um, feel free to look around and, and let us know if there's anything uh, that we could help you with any questions perfect thank you so much it's, it, it gets the conversation going which is Absolutely. the most important part good to see you, Jennifer thanks good for coming you. in thanks. Uh, we'll be right back after this